Hi guys, so this is the continuation of our uh, tutorial on the DDS, uh, ADDDS, Active Directory Domain Services. So uh, after installing your DDS, uh, you can uh, check it here, you have your rules, and then uh, you have your Active Directory services, Domain Services, okay. So today I would like to teach you how to uh, install a, a DHCP server. Uh, after installing this DHCP server, I would like to move to adding new clients and making a new user. So I just want to have a brief review on how we set up our network. So our local area network address for our uh, server is this one, 20.20.1. So we can check it on your, uh, um, here. So we'll go there and then view status and then we can go to your properties and then check this one. So we, we set this one as static. So like what I've said, if you're setting up a server, uh, we always set the one as a static. Now for your DHCP server, uh, we are going to add roles here so that we can provide uh, IP address for our, um, our clients. So uh, on the CSS NC2 exam, uh, you need to set up your DHCP server within the machine. So uh, it is uh, suggested that you turn off any DHCP service running on the network. So today we are going to add a role where in, uh, what do you call this one? Uh, we are going to set up the DHCP service. So this is your server manager. This is a quick uh, view of your uh, services running on your uh, server 2008. So if you click on roles, you can see it here. We have only active directory domain services and in your DNS server. So we're going to add a role, which is your DHCP. We're going to click on add roles. Uh, we can click on next and then uh, select the DHCP server so it will, uh, it will, uh, you need to check the one and then we're going to go for next so in this area uh, if you can read this one you should configure at least one static IP address on this computer so we have already done one uh, the IP address of our uh, server is 172.20.20.1 so that is static IP address okay before you install DHCP server you should plan your subnets scopes and exclusions make a record and plan it in a safe place for later reference so my plan here is to set up the uh, DHCP server from uh, 172.20.20.10 for your uh, uh, released uh, what it calls one uh, we, we provide those service uh, IP address for our clients so we exclude 172.20.20.1 to 172.20.20.10 no I mean 9 so other than that, we are going to give that one as our IP address for our clients. So let's go and click that one. So if you have a network card in place and a uh, static IP address in place, it will automatically um, um, uh, detect that one and then it will provide this one wherein it, it gives us an easier way and then uh, we can click on next. So we have one adapter here, local area network. That's the physical address. So we have that uh, static IP address there. Uh, so it will just check this one. We have your parent domain and then in your DNS server, which is uh, the same uh, this uh, server machine So we can click next uh, Wins is not required. Yes, we can click on next and then we, this is the part where you're going to set up this uh, DHCP server. So what we're going to do is add we're going to put a scope scope name. So uh, LAN underscore uh, it's a yeah underscore DHCP DHCP one uh, because you can create as many DHCP service uh, you can have here so I'll just put one if you have plans of adding more then you can add you can say land DHCP or you can you can you can actually uh, put a descriptive name here land DHCP uh, lab one laboratory one so that it would be easier so our starting IP address, like what I have said earlier, 172.20.20.10. So the IP address would start with 11, uh, starting IP would be 10. So we'd like to end this one with 172.20.20. We can set 254, but for me, for scalability, we have a reserved IP address of four addresses, so I'll just put uh, uh, 50 and then the subnet mask could be 255, the 255, the 255, the 0. Uh, so that is a slash 24. And our default gateway would be um, what did I set for my 
let's say so my default gateway would be should be the same with this one so I need to check yeah it's that five uh, normally we always set this one as our router going to the internet uh, okay so 172.20.20.5 okay subnet type wired uh, uh, least duration will be six days so uh, you can actually change it with uh, eight hours so if the server doesn't hear anything from the client who had the IP address it within six days without hearing any information about this it will release uh, it will get that IP address and uh, assign it to uh, s someone else okay so we're good with that six days okay and then we can go for next okay disable yeah we can just if you want to for me I just leave this behind it's it's for day GP version 6 that's IPv6 but uh, it's up to you if you want to disable the one but for me I want to go on with this one enabled so same I uh, prefer DNS IPv4 this is the IPv6 for uh, uh, this day like this is how IP version 6 looks like it's uh, hexadecimal okay so we can just use current credentials yeah Gnard Rally that's a Gnard administrator I can click next and this is a summary built with the configuration you had so let's go and install this one so after install installing this one you can see it here installation succeeded okay so close and close this one then you can see it there it's there so in your day GP server you can actually check it here um, uh, let's refresh this one close this one and then click again your server manager uh, go for roles and then let's check this one okay there you go we have IPv4 uh, this is the scope we created so if you can check this one IP leases uh, there are no clients connected yet so I'm going to uh, that's how to install a day chip server now we can test this one I need to uh, create uh, I mean uh, show you another client and then the client who should be getting an IP address from the server should show here so I need to have uh, at least Windows 7 set up and then uh, at the same time I'm going to join it to the domain uh, domain of gnr.com and then uh, create user and we are going to test this user okay so uh, check out my next video and uh, see you with the next video I'm going to have